Hello, I'm Alan McElroy from Burthen International and today we're having a quick look over the Oyster 45 Casalami. The yacht is currently ashore here at our offices in Lymington and available to view seven days. Holman and Pai designed Oyster 45. This example hails from 2000. Well loved, well looked after example actually, as you'll see as we wander through. She's a host of recent updates in the last couple of years as well. So just at the transom here, nice sugar scoop, good stainless boarding ladder, drop down, with a socket there for a passerelle and a little uh, stern shower in a, in a cupboard on the transom as well. Stepping on board, we have a little life raft davit there and you've got the rather nice little teak, uh, as I like to call them, gin and tonic seats on port and starboard, just on the push pit. I also located in the push pit there that we hadn't, we didn't, I didn't mention is the life raft and there is a, an aerogen there as well. And the aerogen I have to say is from 2021. So taking a walk forward, uh, teak side decks, teak in the cockpit and rather sensibly painted coach roof. Just limits the, uh, the amount of teak on deck. Removables four stay there as you can see just stowed by the caps rods as well. Now onto the foredeck, we have an electric windlass with both chain and rope gypsy there and a good sized chain locker in the bow. Harken furling on the head sail there, which is nice to see. So looking aft there, this is a very good view, this classic sort of oyster sovereign deck moulding eyebrow over the saloon windows. The uh, both port and starboard outer saloon windows are opening as well, of course. So Selden anodized rig, twin spreader, masthead, and with the spinnaker pole there stowed on the mast as well, which is rather handy. Selden rod kicker. Good sized spray hood offering a lot of protection there as well to the cockpit. So stepping aft then. Midship gates, both port and starboard. And again, you can just see on the transom there, both the life raft and outboard mounted. And a little build plate from wind boats. So a little bird's eye view of the cockpit there, destroyer type pedestal steering. You'll notice the switches on both port and starboard primary winches. Forward as well, the, both the control line winches coming in on the companionway are both electric. On the pedestal there we have controls for the autopilot and the bow thruster. Again just detailing both control line winches, so all running rigging led aft. A very easily managed boat actually. A C90 plotter there which I should say is independent of the plotter down below. And set of grey marine sailing instrumentation on the companionway. All right, now stepping below. Lovely warm, light oak interior. Cabin sole was refinished in the last year, as were the companionway steps. Light blue Alcantara upholstery. And as you'd expect with the, the Oyster Deck Saloon setup, flooded with natural light, so a nice bright airy saloon. So just stepping down. I always love the substantial fiddles as well around things like the uh, windows. Really very spacious saloon. So linear galley running aft on port and forward facing nav station on starboard. Nice little detail there of a little 12 volt Avtex television which is on a swing mount which um, is adjustable. Saloon table folds over to, ex to basically double the size. So certainly a boat built for entertaining. And you can see the, fin the overall finish on the cabinetry throughout as well. It's very, very good. So moving forward, slight step down into the companionway forward. We have a twin cabin on port. Forward, WC and Char on starboard. 
And moving into the bow here, we have a double cabin, which is an infill, so that will run as two singles or a double. Plenty of stowage, 220 volt sockets throughout there, as you can see as well. Hanging stowage. Again, large overhead hatch, so a nice bright, airy cabin. Reading lights on both sides. Just on the subject of lighting, it's largely LED now as well. That's all been upgraded. Just mention as well that that is a, a, a watertight bulkhead door leading into the forward cabin. So on starboard, we have the forward WC and Char. Both Jabscope manual marine loos were replaced in the last year as well. Fittings are all in a lovely shape actually, no very degree. A nice thermostatically controlled shower there. It's a good sized day and guest heads. And then in port of course we have that very useful twin berth. Both good sized berths. Stowage outboard, reading lights, a little thermostat to control there for the heating as well. Plenty of stowage in that cabin. And another little sort of bedside cabinet. So patterned upholstery of fabric throughout the berths and then Alcantara in the saloon and additional seating. Take a wander into the linear galley heading aft. A nice four burner force 10 stainless stove, twin stainless sinks, little dehumidifier and tube heaters there, just keeping the boat tucked up and warm and dry over the winter months here at Lymington. Stepping aft and outboard here, we have a Good size stainless fridge with ice compartment. And then stepping aft into the owner's cabin. A really good size center line double berth, hatch overhead, so plenty of natural light again. Uh, reading lights, fabric mattresses, Alcantara upholstery. Plenty of linen stowage there beneath the berth as well. And cupboards outboard, both on port and starboard. Opening hatches. And then, of course, access to the ensuite. And again, just behind the cabin door here, we have a hanging locker. And then, of course, on starboard, we have the owner's en suite. Again, largely molded in white GRP, but with a nice little bit of the oak trim. Separate shower stall there with thermostatically controlled shower. Plenty of head height in here as well, I should mention. Again with the new Jabsco Manual Marine WC. A bit of Corian on the work surfaces. And well appointed, neat and tidy, and a teak grating. And just stepping forward again then.
So good sized forward facing nav station. Well stocked, a really rather nice custom little stainless bracket there on the television for putting that out into the saloon. The C120 wide plotter below, VHF, Navtex, and a, a tank tender and 12 volt outlets there. So a well appointed nav station, uh, stereo and then uh, cordless charging VHF for the cockpit as well. Now here we have the um, electrical distribution panel. And battery isolators and breakers. All adjacent to the nav station, so very easily accessible. Now the stowage and engine room access. Accessed from both behind the nav station here and the deck in the cockpit, we have this rather large locker, which again gives you access to the engine room. So a peak there of the Volvo MD22, it's 59 horse. And just forward of the engine is the three and a half kilowatt master volt generator. You see an independent fire extinguishing system there as well. The stowage is shelved outboard glimpse of the uh, holding tank there, the Ebis Basher heating system just behind the baffle there, and then of course the rest is given over to stowage. RCD protection there for the incoming 220 power. And just neatly mounted against that rear bulkhead is the emergency steering system as well. So a well-appointed, well-loved and capable blue water cruiser. Casalami, as I say, is ashore here at our offices in Limington and available for seven days. So please feel free to get in touch if you would like to discuss or like any further information. Thank you.